Hey guys, and we're gonna do a quick look today because I wanted to show you how you can use two lip sense lip colors and not mix and not layer. So what we're actually gonna do is outline in Bella, Bella, and then we're going to fill in with pink champagne, which is Joni's favorite color. And these are both two of my all time favorite colors. I wear them all the time. And I've already shook them all up really, really, really good. So I think we're good as far as that goes. The first step is you wanna cleanse your lips. <clears throat> cleanse and make sure that they're dry. I only use Witch Hazel to clean my lips after I have put on makeup. And I already have all my makeup on. And then we're gonna let that dry. And my lips are pretty dry. <laughs> this week and you can see I get just a little bit of makeup on there. Um, I only cleanse with Witch Hazel after I have put on makeup to get that little bit of foundation off. And then you want it to dry to get all the wispies off. Good. I forgot to put my highlighter right there. Boo. <clears throat> okay so what you're going to do first is my lips are dry. If they weren't dry, I would hit them a little bit with a microfiber towel. This is a really old one. And that's what I use to remove a lot of my makeup. It's just an old microfiber towel. And then I just throw it in the washing machine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is three layers of Bella as an outline. Bella. <clears throat> and what we wanna do is you always wanna apply thin layers, especially with a matte color which Bella is very matte and one of the things I like to do if I'm outlining is make sure I have a really good wand so you may want to invest in some throwaway wands just to be sure and I've got it really really wiped off good I'm gonna try to do this in the mirror but show you guys I'm gonna outline in a dark neutral color you can outline every color if you like um, I didn't bring my oops. This is how girls do ombre looks. So outline in one color and then fill in in another color and then outline and fill in. This dries really fast, so I think I'm probably pretty good to go. When you are layering, which we're not doing today, but you need to really let it dry. Um, Ella dries really fast on me. This is glam doll. I really dry. I haven't been using a lot of lip since I've been using a lip balm and glossy. This look, I saw one online that I can't wait to try with a shimmer and it was nutmeg and gives me Katie I think. Mm, got that one a little thick. I have really thin lips. <clears throat> so for some of you, it may take more than one swipe. You can go back and forth if you need to. And it may want to dry it, stretch it out. <clears throat> okay, one more, and then we'll move on to pink champagne. Pink champagne is actually a neutral for me, and not really a pink. Um, <laughs> my dog is watching me out the window. Uh, Bella is actually more of a mauve than a brown, although it pulls very brown on me when I do three layers. Can you see? Um, I lips are naturally pink, so pink champagne is actually a neutral or a nude. Okay, I'm gonna give it just a little more time to dry. It's a little tacky. How are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't made a video in forever. <laughs> I, um, if you don't know, I'm a postal carrier and at Christmas time, I just don't have time for anything. And I was thankful in January that I came back to LipSense and here was my business still. Um, then in January, the flu went through. So I didn't have a voice. 
Okay, layer number one of pink champagne. We've done three layers of Bella as an outline. Very, very thin. Thinner layers, the better. And then if you have to put on a fourth layer, you can. But honestly, you really don't want to because it could come off earlier or later. Um, the thicker layers you have, the more it's going to come up a little bit and rub off. Really thin, stretched out. Doesn't take long to dry. Don't lick your lips or take a drink or anything. <clears throat> all that excess and you can dip back in in the middle if you prefer layer number two mm, I don't know I have to go a fourth I got my outline pretty dark um I have seen a lot of girls do this with Bella and first love glam doll and Bella as the middle um Glam Doll and Goddess, Bella and Goddess, um, Glam Doll and Sassy. Uh, there's just a lot of possibilities you could do. And like I said, I want to try a shimmer outline next. Actually, this looks really good. Okay. One more. Okay, I went a little dark up here on my Bella, I can tell. So I may need to go, oh, it's actually blending a little better. Okay. Yeah, okay, wow. I'm really liking this, my goodness. But pink champagne is, is an ultimate favorite of mine. It was, Bella was the first color I got, and I think pink champagne was the second or third. <clears throat> Third layer always takes longer to dry, and you want it to really dry before you put. Sometimes, I don't know if I'm like you, but I get in a hurry to put my glossy on, <laughs> and it's still a little gummy. And you can do that, but it'll actually stay kind of gummy for about half an hour. So you really want it to dry, because it's going to last longer throughout the day. Bella is a color that actually gets darker on me throughout the day. Um, I don't know if anyone else has that happen. Uh, Glam Dolls is the same. And I hear mold wine is similar. I haven't done the mold wine. I threw in some Orchid gloss. You can see how much I love Orchid. Um, in case later I want a little filler. And I always carry my colors with me. Okay, test time. Glossy. You can see how clear it is. There is nothing on my applicator. Nothing on my applicator. And I, nothing on the applicator. Really, really throw it in at first on dry days. And I've got a glass of water with me on my hydrate. Okay guys, this was just a quick wanted to show you how it would work quick and easy you can even do it in your car like I'm doing it um, just an outline in a darker color and then an inner and this is really gorgeous I'll try to take a selfie and I'll post both on Facebook too love you guys hope you have a great day